live. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to Doug Another, and John Live. That's right. This is our third episode. Does my hair face look furry tonight? Your face kind of looks like Chewbacca. <laughs> you know why all this stuff is on here? First of all, I've been asking you all night. We are doing what we just started. We are uh, doing our Doug and John live back to this school. school. It's, it's all so about exciting. school look at us tonight. We are in a locker room. It's so exciting to go back to school. It is. And it, look, you know, you see that comment box You right see it down underneath. below there? It's calling your name. It is. Thing. And here's why. Tickle me with here's your finger. Here's why it is calling your name. Because if you, as soon as you comment or ask a question, you are automatically entered. We gave away two of these swag bags yeah. last oh, week. Man, we gave you away. You're automatically awesome. entered. Comment, and you could win a swag bag. Look at this stuff you can win. What could they win? You can win gummy bacon oh. right here. Actually, One star on Amazon. They say it tastes disgusting, yeah. and you can have it. Oh, uh, God, what else? We, Chewbacca backpack. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, uh, shark socks. That's uh, an awesome. This pillow. is from the '90s. What are these? None oh. chocolate. Ducks. Don't hit me with the nunchucks. Nun, nunchucks. Look, I am Iron Man. Eight bit uh, uh, glasses. But this is mine. Come they on. can't win it. Give it to the people. Mine. Um, so as soon as you comment, why not comment now? Why not, why not have already commented? About school. Yes. What's something Submit crazy a you question did in now. As soon as you comment, as soon as you ask a question, you are entered to win the swag bag later we're going to have the wheel of swag that goes round and round and round what? and you'll see what you win in addition to some of that cool stuff the doug and john show this has got swag a t-shirt doug and john t-shirt toothbrush comic book all oh that my awesome gosh, stuff the comic book is so funny you comment you ask a question you're automatically oh. entered john yes doug as i'm thinking back to school Yes, like last week. At first, I re realized I can't remember any of it. Right. That was the head trauma. Right. But finally, I was like, no, wait a minute. I do remember something about school. How much you want to be accepted. Oh, you know what? The first day of school, you just want to look so good. You go out and you buy your, your white kicks and, and your white starter jacket, and you dress it all in white. It's just gorgeous. Exactly. It's exactly. gorgeous. Um, some, I know some of y'all are probably watching, and you're like, look, it's a... It's Back to school! Oh, that wasn't supposed Yay! to! But you're probably <laughs> live! We're live! Doug and John! Hey everybody! Sometimes when you get mail, you get a free swag bag from the Doug and John Show.com. Here's what's inside of it. You get a free sticker. If you can stick. Stick. Shirt. You get a shirt. You can wear it. it, says the Doug and John Show, trendy v-neck. I'm going to wear it right now, even though I'm already wearing one. And you get a, a toothbrush, and a, it says the Doug and John Show.com. This is a Doug and John Show toothbrush. What? And then you get a Frisbee that says the Doug and John Show.com, so all your homies can know where you go in your free time. We're live, and I'm so glad that the joke we were going to do later fell on us now. I'm so glad you're covered in confetti. <laughs> Me too. It's in your hair, Back bro. Back to school. So here's the thing. Sometimes when you don't feel accepted, I can understand that to an extent. I can understand. Barely. It, but it, Look uh, at you. You're, you're gorgeous now. Uh, uh, if, you think I'm, if you think I'm gorgeous now, you should have seen me when I was like 13, 14. No. I, you, I, you, can you prove it? It's funny. You should ask if I can prove it. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, wow. You me. Were, you were gorgeous. That, look at that hat. That is a cool hat. No, no, uh, that, is that a that Russian? My, my hair. Oh, I thought that was a Russian my, hat. My hair. Um, beautiful. A beautiful right. man. You're, you, you weren't bad looking, I have to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I myself. <laughs> I, I wish I hadn't lost all my looks. Yeah, well, it's covered in confetti. Yeah. You know, I myself was a good looking man as a, uh, as a youngster. Right. Uh, I, I had a suave appearance. Uh, you, you ready for this? I am. Okay. Here we go. There I am. Mm. Look at that, mm. ladies. Mm. Yes, look at that look in the eye. My goodness. Oh, wow. How did you, you look like you're nine. How do you have facial hair? I had facial hair at a young age. Yeah. Mm. Um, Roids. Main, main, Roids. Mainly the steroids. Roids. Uh, but it Roids. grew and grew as well as these puppies right here. Look. Uh, I'm excited also about that. We, we, here's why you want to hang out on the Doug and John Show fan page. 
You want to hang out on the fan page on Facebook, and here's why. We put a question out there earlier, okay, about – I just saw these cool hoodies, these cool right? superhero cool. hoodies. And we said, uh, which, which one of these would you like to win? And like 1,500 likes, 450 wow. people voted. There's so many of you. I know. And, and so we are also going to give away these great hoodies tonight. Oh, What's, oh, they want us to, they want us to model, put them on. Mo model them. Oh, yeah. um, yes, here we go. Uh, you could win one of these. Look, a Batman hoodie. If you answer this question. If you answer this question. Can we please turn the music off? It's bringing back terrible memories. <laughs> oh, here's how you win this. Here's how you win this. Last week... Here's how you win one of these hoodies, and you're going to get to choose help? which one you want. I do. If you were any kind of a gentleman, you would have helped by now. It's much better. Now, here's how you, <laughs> here's how you can win, okay? Yes. Last week, uh, no, two weeks ago on no. the show, two we, years were, ago. we were live from Mars, and somebody got decapitated. Somebody got to, it was ugly. What we didn't mean? mean for it to happen. He was really nice, really nice Pixar friend, if you will. He got decapitated. If you let us know who was decapitated on that last show, then you are going to win this. Let us know this in the comments. Gorgeous. Questions. Again, you put it in the comment, put something in the comments, a comment, a question, and you are going to be entered to win the swag bag. You know, when we were going back to school, one of the things I always wanted to do to get attention was I would uh, buy all these temporary tattoos. Really? So you, you kind of were, I have heard that you were kind of wanting to be an attention-grabbing weirdo. I, I might be going far. Let me tell you, I, I, right. I used to put tattoos all over, like temper, lick and stick tattoos. You had over. ink? No. In school? You are a man. Wow. Well, no, no, they were lick and stick. They were like the temporary. Oh, not so much. Well, um, and I put them all on, and when I got to school, they were like, you know what? Uh, they, they were like, you know what? Go home. They didn't like my tattoos. The oh, principal the man. was like, the man. go home. So your principal hangs out in the foyer yes, looking, of the school? Yes, looking for tattooed hooligans. So you go to school completely covered in tattoos, yes. and they kick you out. they kick me out. Any other attention-grabbing exploits we should know about? Well, uh, I, I came back from that to win uh, vice presidency of my school because I was really interesting and wow, cool. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so uh, the next day to celebrate, I uh, put on a Roman centurion outfit. They said I was wearing a dress, but it was a Roman centurion outfit. They sent me home again. This is the problem with schools today. They can't tell the difference between women's clothing and Roman hero clothing. That's true. So you went to school in tats. You went to school in Roman centurion yeah, what, garb. What about you? I like it. Uh, just jeans and shirts. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how'd that uh, work for you? Pretty good. Pretty, well, hello. <laughs> How do you think? It's so gorgeous. But here's the thing. As beautiful as I was then, um, let me be honest, I, I actually have a little bit of a funnier story than you had. No. Uh, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. You ready? Yeah. Check this out. So, so I'm totally in love with this girl, right? It's like eighth grade. Totally in love with eighth her. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. I'm like 14 uh, years old, yeah. but that's how old you are in eighth wow. grade. I, and I'm totally in love with her, and I'm going to ask her to the dance, right? This oh, is hilarious. She's this beautiful. Is hilarious. She's beautiful. Beautiful girl. I'm gorgeous. She's gorgeous. You're both Here gorgeous. she comes. It's I'm natural. hanging out by the bike rack. Here she comes. The bike rack is where you should hang out. I'm like, hey, will you go to the dance with yes, me? Yes, 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 <laughs> and yes, yes, yes. she's like, no, no way, loser. And uh, she totally broke, broke my heart. <laughs> better. Hey, you have to say your line. Oh, uh, you're live with the Doug and John Show. Awesome. Okay. Emmanuel Sanis. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce yes. that right, but Emmanuel, congratulations. You won. He Which must guessed it was Wally. Which one? Which hoodie does he want? Is the go oh, good. Yay, you still coming down. Live, live. Oh, I thought I was going to get hurt. So you, Manuel, let you let us know which one you can choose. Which one of these? Oh, by the way, here's the magic one. This is magic. Manuel, you could also win. <laughs> There's no way we're using a blue screen right now. But this Where is, am I? This is the Captain America hoodie. It's blue, so you can either Captain America, Batman, or the, the Flash. Flash hoodie. It's up to you. Let us know. By the way, remember to be entered for the swag bag. To be entered 
uh, to, to win. win later. All you got to do is comment, ask com uh, comment or a question. You're automatically entered. Ow. But John, sir, we've sir, been yes, joking sir. around a lot. Uh, is, it, is, is it that time again? It is because, uh, you know, I like to let everyone know that we are also serious about education. What? You are? I... You know we were live. Oh, yeah. I am serious about the education. Uh, and so I was really excited because I talked to our producer and I was yeah. like, look, I, I've got some connections, as you know. <laughs> you do. A lot of big wigs. <laughs> I've yeah. got a lot of, what's a big wig? They've got big wigs. I, a lot of a uh, lot of connections in the education industry, as it were. So here's what we did. You're not gonna believe this. We have some serious questions we want we want to ask because there's some issues in so education let's get a hold of these somebody. days. Well, all right. I, I was look. Our producer told me we were going to get the Department of Education, the head of the Department of Education. All right. Wait. wait. We're not. Uh, the, uh, oh, the head of the Board of Education, we've got, all right. Wait, no, no. Uh, the principal for my, no? Uh, vi what, all right. All who, right. Who do we have then? Jim. J Jim. Jim, the head, what do you head do? Well, at least we got the, the head, head janitor. Well, yeah, I'll actually be the head janitor once uh, Leroy retires in around, uh, I believe it's 2025. Oh. Well, he's moving up. Um, I'm moving I, forward. <laughs> I'm sure we should ask these questions. These are serious education questions. I don't questions. know that he Boys, let me answer. just jump in right here and tell you, you can feel free to fire any question you want to at me. I've been working in the school system for longer oh. than you've been born. All right, all right. Okay. Um, that's funny, you look younger than me. Hmm. Well, you know, that's the youthful energy that I get from the turpentine, Lysol, mm. any number of cleaning products. Go ahead and fire some questions off at All right. Me. Well, let's, let's try. see what happens. Uh, Jim, look, uh, given the recent decline in mm -hmm. standardized testing scores, what do you propose to do regarding SAT and ACT advances? Well, you know, what I want to do is firmly grab the mop. I want you to push it in here. Push with your left shoulder now. That's your money shoulder. You push. Pull back with the right. And that's going to get your mess cleaned up just yeah. quicker than you can say yeah. lickety splat frog daddy. That, that doesn't answer the question. Like stuff about his work. Let's, let's try another one. Uh, Jim, uh, look, many school boards are suggesting, as you probably know, cutting funding for school music programs. So what do you feel is the national impact of such I actions? Well, the, the, uh, the impact is actually when the refuse hits the floor. It's the point between the uh, youngster's hand and it uh, hitting the floor there. And then what you're going to want to do is just reach over, scoop that punk up, and throw it in your nice hefty bag. Okay. Uh, uh, let me try one. All right. Jim. Uh, yes? Try this one. Uh, yeah, that one. Jim, what are your thoughts regarding accusations that... Uh, that teaching standards are, are fa falling on a, like a national level? That's actually a pretty good question, young lady. Um, since the onset sure, of girl. the uh, OLSAT Come test in 1979, I, uh, it seems like you see a lot more um, youngsters and students, faculty, staff, going out to the ball games, you know, having a good time, enjoying themselves, but leaving a lot of popcorn mess on the floor. What you're going to want to do is take your broom, scoot those punks over to the side. All That's right. a mop. Don't you look too much okay. at that. Uh, I guess he wins. All right, then. Uh, how many students require rescuing from lockers in an average quarter. How many, how many students require rescuing? That's a, that's Boy, a, that's a anybody stumper. Anybody can answer that. Um, all of them. You know? All of them. Anybody, everybody gets put in a locker. I've been in a locker. I actually live in a locker. I don't want to tell anybody that. We, we won't tell anybody. We won't. Okay. Not us. Well? Well, how about that? Love Thursdays.
<laughs> All right. <laughs> we're live and we know what we're doing. Hi. We got, uh, Kenneth, Kenneth. All right, hold on. We got to apologize. I don't know why I'm apologizing for Mark Zuckerberg for Facebook. That but if you've guy got a problem eats getting cats. Or commenting, there's a po You can Google it right now. There's a lot of co problems with Facebook. And his diet is right weird. Now. Not even ending with timeline. Uh oh! Uh, so who would win in a fight? Kenneth asks, and Kenneth is now immediately entered to win. To win. This who stuff. would win in a fight, Batman or the Flash? That's a good question. Oh man! Okay, so so Batman and the Flash. They Batman's like, like uh, 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 the Flash. Like, zoom, the zoom, Flash zoom. is like Batman's like money and hey, money. Hey, lunch. That's great. Mm, okay, I love school lunches. I'm gonna go with Batman. Uh, would win that one. Uh, that's gross, and, but it does remind I'm just me. Just glad it's not all over. You know me, what? To be remind honest. you, we have a world premiere animated short. You can go check out all our animated shorts on our YouTube page, the Doug and John Show YouTube page. We got this a bunch is about of a videos. True we got, story. But we have a world premiere. This actually happened to John in school. Realistic. Here's your world premiere. I care, Coach. So I, um, I grew up in like military schools. Can you tell me some of your exploits? And so the first time I actually got a chance to um, play organized sports, I jumped on it. I went for football. I did. I did not know what I was doing. This is not fun at all. Mm. Football. Yeah, football is not fun at all. Uh, afterwards, we all had to take a knee, and I decided I was in it to win it. And so I take a knee, we all take a knee. And taking, then, taking the knee. Where you were in it to win that. I can't do a push-up, but I can take a knee. Oh, well, I'll show them. The I'll show was, the military school. I'll show the coach. I'll show all you guys that can do push-ups. So the I'll coach both the knees. is screaming at us. Well, naturally. And he's throwing his hat at us. And he'd be like, you take a knee again. So while he was talking, I had an unfortunate... And oh, you fluffernutted. Yes. Did you fluffernut as you were throwing his helmet back at his face? And I am freaked out. So you swoop in for military school, the big shot. I can take a knee. I can throw my hat. I can mysteriously fluffernut. So I was on the sidelines, and the okay, coach... Okay, so you're, with, you're on the sidelines. Yeah. Your coach is like... I need somebody who cares. Right. He's like, I want somebody, I anybody. want somebody who cares like Ben Stiller cares in Night at the Museum. Don't no, forget, no, no, no. if you comment or question, you're automatically entered for the swag bag. Kind of so do entered. it. I think do it. Facebook's got their deal. Facebook's get their get their figured stuff out. So out. school. Yeah. Tell me more about your rejection story because that sounds really interesting, and my story was really dumb. So go. Well, as you know, you know you're in. Uh, uh, you're 14 years old. You're not real right. sure of yourself. Right. So anyway, uh, so yeah. she rejects me. So I'm at this rodeo, and this rodeo clown is totally like. Little do they know, we found, we found the girl from Doug's story. The poor little girl that left Doug standing at the bike racks. Let's join him now. Now, like I said, Doug doesn't know that this is going to happen. It's a surprise. Here we go. Doug Hutchcraft, this is your life. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm a, Sounds great. I'm a, now listen. Did you know about this? I set it up. He did. He set it up because he's a true friend. Now, Doug, do you remember the little girl from your story? <laughs> of course you do. You remember you were standing there at the bike ride, broken hearted, feeling let down? 
So we went to Connecticut. Found the little girl. Can't believe this. You can't believe it? I can't. Doug, it's from me to you. I love you, brother. Yes. This is crazy. We knocked on our door. I can't believe you did this. We knocked twice. Right. We knocked three times. She came to the door. We recounted the story to her. Do you think she remembered? Oh, yeah. Of course she remembered. Who forgets breaking somebody's heart like that? Nobody. <laughs> so we asked her, right. Doug, can you believe it? Can you? I, if you'd let me. Anyway, right. we asked her if she would join us here tonight. Oh. <laughs> this is and do you know what she said? Mm. What did she say? What did she say? What did she say? Your wildest dreams are about to continue to be dashed because she said no again, Doug. Is your life an American television tradition? Hey, Art, we got nope. some more comments here. You guys are, are uh, now automatically entered. It's not too oh late. Oh, my gosh. But Brian comments, Clancy, questions, you're love automatically you. entered. We Brian love you. Clancy, who would win, Jesse or Doug? Now, Brian does not make clear in what, so I'm going to assume he means... Badminton. In badminton. <laughs> well, one, one of you is going to throw the fight. I can hit a shuttlecock. <laughs> hey, what do you think about the tension, Clancy? What are you in there now? Because look, I spent <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty late for that. Well, I have... Clancy's been a bad boy or girl, oh, as girl. the case may be. Uh, looks like a girl. You guys are both entered. Uh, so, Hi, Clancy. so my goodness, uh, we are about to do our swag bag giveaway. This is huge here. But uh, until before we before we can do that. We want to tell you one more time what's in here. You got your uh, T-shirts. Wow. You yes. got your... Comic books. The comic books. You've got you got your yo-yo. Yo-yo. You've got your all that great stuff. All the stuff, stuff that's in there. It's well, for you. Oh, oh my goodness, and I forgot. We're also giving this away tonight. Who gets this? Who gets, who gets it? it? We seriously are. We seriously Who gets this? One is for... Who gets it? Who gets Zoe. this? Zoe. Zoe. Zoe right. gets Bri it. No, Brian. No, Bri oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Who gets it? Zoe. Yay! Zoe gets the bubble wrap. Yes. All right, nice job, Zoe. Okay, fantastic. Well, before we move on here, oh, good. We okay, Excuse me, clean, it, clean it up a little. Well, you know, there's a mess in here. Hang on, i got to make it clean it up here a little bit. I thought his segment was over. Whose segment? What? Uh, I work here. Uh, man. Oh, let's do this. Uh, let's do the uh, the uh, swag, oh, the wheel of swag. Let's okay. see who's going to win what. Who's gonna win what? Who's gonna win it? It's go! Oh, who it's won? Thing. Who won that? Who won the? Uh, who won this beautiful pillow? It's so comfortable. Who won that beautiful pillow? Brian! Brian. Boom! Top, nice Brian. job this is for Brian. Nice job. All right, hey, let's do one more. Let's do one more uh, swag bagger. Let's do one more. You're a swag bagger. You're about to win that! Oh! Ten pounds of gummy bear. Ten pounds. No. Of and one of these. And one of these. Hey, congratulations. But look. Thanks, Ben McIntyre. Thanks for being here with us on Doug and John. Oh, Ben Ma Ben won the bubble wrap. Congrats. Hey, here's what you need to do. All of all, y'all. I think you probably already did this, but in the comments or uh, no. Uh, the Doug and John. What's the email address? I forgot again. The Doug and John show at the email address dot com. I don't think that's it. I think it is. I'm almost positive. Oh, I'm Gmail sorry. Gmail.com. It's Gmail at, at it's at Gmail somewhere. It's the Doug and John Show at gmail.com. Could the it Doug be any and John easier? Show at Gmail. I forgot. If it were any you. easier, we would have forgotten it. The Doug and John Show at gmail.com. Let us know your address. We'll get this sent out to you. Hey, don't ever miss a show again. Busy lives. If you want to get reminders on your phone, all you got to do is text Bacon to three one three one three one again. Text Bacon right now to three one three one three one. You will get a reminder about a half hour before we go live. We'll get. get uh, connect with us on Facebook. Yes. Uh, hang out uh, with us uh, on our YouTube page. So on right. and so forth. But before we go, it would not truly be a Doug and John live without 15, 15 seconds, seconds of John trying to get to school as a young man. We'll see you next.
Live.